Hola mi gente bella, hello my beautiful people. It is I, your girl Alejandra. I'm back with another video for you guys. If you have not had a chance to check out my other videos, make sure that you go show some love to those videos. Make sure that you like this video. Make sure you comment on this video. Go ahead and subscribe, turn on that notification button so you do know when I upload my next video. If you are someone that is looking to become an esthetician, a solo esthetician, then make sure that you do check out my videos as we go on with my journey. Before we do get started, I wanted to go ahead and take this moment to thank everyone that has been watching my videos and liking my videos, commenting on my videos, subscribing to my channel. Major shout out to the ones that have reached out to me to let me know that they have found my videos to be helpful. I love getting that feedback and that comment. So I hope that I can continue to create more videos that are going to be able to help you along your journey as a business owner slash solo esthetician. So if you are ready, let's get right into this video. This video is going to be all about how to sell retail to your clients. So if you are someone that is new into the business or if you've been around and you have yet to get comfortable selling retail to your clients without feeling like you're selling them something or you're just trying to get their money then make sure that you keep on watching because i guarantee you you're gonna learn something new first i wanted to showcase you a little bit of my retail that i carry here i actually carry the line glymed glymed actually gives you the option to purchase their products or they give you a website where your clients can actually order online and they kick you back 40 percent if but, your clients are anything like my clients, they're going to want their treatment plan right then and there. And if you are like me, you're going to want your clients to have that treatment plan with them right then and there. And that way you're able to retain those clients, have those clients keep coming back to you and trusting you with that progress. Things first, you have decided what brands you want to work with, what retail you want to carry. Make sure that you educate yourself on these products and really understand what their value is for your clients because I guarantee you a lot of times you're gonna have products that you're gonna think oh it's only suitable for sensitive clients for rosacea clients but they could actually really help other types of clients for example if you have a cleanser that states is for inflamed irritated sensitive skin you're automatically thinking eczema rosacea but what if a client comes in with inflamed acne hello inflamed irritated sensitive maybe over stripped so that is kind of your cue also for like hey this cleanser is also great for that client make sure that you're actually putting the time to get to know them make sure that you do play with these products so you better understand how they actually work on the skin i've gone through trials and tribulations with products that i've used uh, ingredients that i put on my skin that have dried out my skin irritated my skin cause chemical burns but i do this so i make sure that these products are being a used appropriately b that they're actually working and c that i'm actually enjoying them and loving them because i guarantee you if you sell products that you love you're not gonna have a problem selling any product at all now what comes first your clients needs so as soon as your client walks in your consultation automatically begins and it might even begin prior to that session because they sometimes reach out to you to ask you what type of service you recommend for them and that's when they kind of let you know their skin concerns so you got to kind of start thinking ahead of the game okay this client's gonna come in and she's mentioned that she has this concern you know the treatment now you gotta think of the home care regimen so as soon as that client walks in you're gonna take them in you're gonna do your skin analysis you're gonna assess the plan you're gonna continue with your service and as you're working with that client make sure that you are really really paying attention to that client not only their skin but what that client is telling you so make sure that you're listening in on your client versus just oh okay you break out here and there oh you have breakouts because i guarantee you a lot of times these clients are being so bad on themselves they are like i have so much acne and it's literally like maybe just a little hormonal chin breakout so this is your moment to not only educate your clients but listen to what they're saying listen to their needs versus their wants this is gonna be your moment to listen take it in 
Make sure that you are also validating their feelings. Make sure that you're listening in and paying close attention to what they're letting you know and how they're feeling about their skin and where they want their skin to go. That's gonna be also your key to see what type of client are you dealing with. Are you dealing with a client that is willing to commit or are you dealing with a client that is like, I wanna have clear skin, but I also don't put sunscreen on. Those are the type of clients that you kind of have to learn from and really play around with them. So make sure that you are listening to your client's needs versus their wants. You're gonna go ahead and ask them if they're using any products at home and if they are, what are those products and how are they using them? So you wanna make sure that you ask them if they have a skincare routine already in place and if they do, what does that look and like? And then ask them like, how are you using these products? Are they using vitamin C at night? Are they using vitamin C during the day? Are they exfoliating? Are they using retinol? How are they using retinol, etc.? The list can really go on. Make sure that you're asking those open-ended questions so you do get more answers, more feedback. Get to know their routine, get to know how they use it, how they implement those products. Are they using their products appropriately? Start listening in very carefully in this step and I assure you you're going to win if they already have a routine in place I guarantee you they're not gonna want to start all over again and just throw completely their whole skincare regimen out of the window so make sure that you're listening in so you can start thinking they don't have this they don't oh they mentioned this but they didn't mention they exfoliate oh I didn't hear any hot serums oh they cleanse with this cleanser, but they don't follow up with no moisturizer. They definitely don't use sunscreen. So start picking up on those cues that this is gonna be very important because this is where you're gonna insert those products. And then you're gonna really find out what their routine is. You wanna make sure that you listen in on where their regimen is lacking and also educate them. If they're not using these products appropriately, educate them even though it may be you don't have a single product you can recommend at the moment. Educate them so they can use that regimen better. And guess what? They're going to earn your trust. And people will buy from people they trust. So make sure that you are at least educating them. Even if they don't buy a product then, I guarantee you they'll come back and say, I remember you mentioned that this product goes in this order. I tried it. Do you have something better? Because I feel like my the skin is still not working. I guarantee you 9 out of 10 the products that they're using is not good. Okay, you have figure out their game plan. You have figure out what they use or don't use. Now you're going to ask them a very important question. And how you word it is up to you. I really want you to just get comfortable with asking your clients this question. I see that you have a skincare routine already in place. How are you liking those products? Are you seeing the results that you have been wanting to achieve? Why are you asking them this question? Because you wanna make sure, you wanna hear what they say. They're using a, a nice cleanser, they're using a great moisturizer, but have yet to figure out how to clear up their hyperpigmentation. Oh, they're dealing with a little bit of crow's feet. Ding, 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 again. Thinking cap comes on. This is a perfect time for me to educate you and let you know about what products will be better for you, what products can take your skin to that next level. So again, these clients are really gonna appreciate you if you educate them, if you let them know your feedback, even if you don't really love their regimen already, you gotta at least respect it and honor it that they have something, because having something is better than not having a skincare routine. Congratulate them, let them know, I love that you already have the consistency and the commitment, but let's go ahead and elevate you to better products. This is the last but not the least. I want to take this moment to let you guys know this last rule is going to be your biggest rule ever. It is really important that you do not oversell. Do not get hungry to sell your client a whole brand new skincare routine because you are going to overwhelm this client you are not only going to overwhelm them, you're going to overwhelm their skin. So, what do I mean by do not oversell? Don't get me wrong. If a client wants to purchase a whole five, six step routine and you trust and they trust you that this is a 
very committed relationship that you know 1000% this client's gonna go home and implement this routine. By all means, feel free to sell as many products as you feel. But the only reason why I say do not oversell on a first time client or just in general is because you don't wanna overwhelm their skin and not be able to pinpoint back which product went wrong. And you also wanna make sure that they're taking their products home and you're not overwhelming them with a lot of products and they're able to build on this routine and stay consistent. So if that means that you're gonna put them on one or two products at the beginning, then that's okay. I guarantee you the next visit, they're gonna be like, hey, I love these products, but what else can we do for our skin? And there you go, that's gonna be your cue because you wanna make sure that you have something to sell to them on their next visit because if you they buy a whole six step routine what are they gonna buy on their next visit and your goal is to really try to sell every visit possible if you can this is gonna be a perfect opportunity for you to start incorporating more products as they build onto their routine and their consistency They're also gonna be coming in for refills so you want to make sure that you are staying consistent on your retail sales so if you have a client that buys all those six products, that's great, that's awesome. In two to three months, you better make sure that they're again buying those products. Because if they come back in six months and say, hey girl, I finally need that hydro gel, <laughs> they have not been using it. At first at the beginning, and they're not really on top of their consistency, then it might take them a while to use those products up. So two months is the most where I'm starting to see and say, hello. This is the time where we usually refill, what's going on. Make sure that you gain the trust of these clients. I guarantee you that's gonna be a long, long-term relationship and a long-term income for you. Alrighty guys, I know that was a lot. That was a whole mouthful for me, but I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you found this video to be helpful and I hope that these tips help you out. Let me know how you like this video. Let me know if you found this video to be helpful. Let me know if you implement any of these tips into your retail sales and let me know what your outcome is. I would love to hear more about you guys. Let me know more about your success. So again, make sure that you like this video. Make sure that you comment on this video. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Turn on that notification button so you do know when I upload my next video. And until further notice, mi gente, peace and love.